Welcome back to the channel, Scorpio. It's me, OU, with another channel tarot card message for you. Let's get into your reading. We're going to be channeling some messages through the Hulu tarot deck today. Let's see what the cardomancy has to say. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see. For your love messages today, let's see what are your current energies, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you. Messages for Water Sign Scorpio today, Spirit. What messages do we have for the Scorpio? Hmm. Thinking about Venus, your ruling house. All right. Grounding your reading today, we have Father of Coins. Could I have a business owner coming towards you? This is your grounded reading. This is the, um, your grounded card. This could be what you're attracting. You, uh, a male. That's interesting. The last reading it was <laughs> the Libra's reading may be connected to your reading. We have, um, but yeah, this could be a business owner, maybe a store attendant, store clerk. Uh, father of coins, this deals in finance. So this could be some sort of a uh, finance professor, teacher. Uh, I'm getting a business constructor. Okay. <laughs> father figure, possibly. Someone very grounded and stable. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You have eight of sticks. A lot of information coming in. Traveler. Again, traveling doesn't necessarily have to be on foot. We use the internet as traveling as well. We let our minds wander. Is that not traveling? Nine of coins. A harvest. A lot of hard work. This could be a scavenger hunt as well. Eight of coins, eight of sticks. Yeah, a lot of gifts, a lot of people running back and forth. Uh, this could be finance news. Grounding the reading, King, King of Pentacles. We have nine of coins, abundance. It reminds me of Wall Street or you know, those, uh, or the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm. Newsletter, finance book. Very thorough. Mother of knives. Yeah, this has to be some sort of a news or a teacher. There's a course on um, finance here or building financial groups or working on several financial hacks at once. Some sort of a shortcut, they would say. Yeah, <laughs> a short sword. Ace of swords coming in here with the truth. This is a revelation or realization. Mm -hmm. A new way or a new uh, idea of how, to, of, of how to do something. This could be online. Son of sticks, yeah. Someone, a brave new world or what? <laughs> the whole new world. <laughs> Someone's about to take action. They're traveling here. Or they're about to, uh, I'm not sure if it's uncover something. I mean, this just could be a pilgrimage. So a lot of people could be, um, this would be like a new idea, like metaverse coming out. And a bunch of people, um, you know, trying metaverse. What is this? Eight of baskets. We have eight, eight, eight out here. Eight of sticks, eight of coins, and now eight of baskets. Someone has a love for their job here. <laughs> I would say more or less a love-hate relationship. <laughs> but it's, yeah, I was going to say, it's better to work for yourself than work for other people, right? So again, a business owner here. Could be good at networking, right? Uh, Dr. Grant was a, um, he was a root worker. He relied on traditional medicines and herbs, all right, versus uh, the modern day uh, society, cultures, medicines, and side effects, and all that type of stuff. He made a way for himself in the dying industry, the entrepreneur of the Hoodoo Tarot. We have, um, right, Virgos, pay very close attention to details. We have the uh, Knight of Wands, all right, again, um, Expending a lot of energy here. Probably a lot of traveling as well. <laughs> a business expense, I would assume. Um, there's also attraction here. This could be advertising. It yeah, doesn't necessarily have to be sex here. I'm not picking up a whole lot of sex from this reading. <laughs> the garden, the world, right? And the internet or some sort of a website. On top of Ace of Swords. Yeah, some, 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 sort, some sort of worldwide clarity. Could be a mailer list. Subscription service. 
right? You get paid from it. Okay. So this person. Okay. So let's get this straight here. <laughs> okay. The major arcana is the garden, the world. We have Dr. Grant, an entrepreneur. So yeah, you have. I'm not sure if you own an Etsy shop. You do eBay reselling. Uh, but you own some sort of a business here. Recording. Yeah, that's networking. Four of sticks. It's a storefront. Mother of Sticks, that's a creator, that's a content creator. So maybe you do some sort of a online platform, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Again, on some sort of a, some sort of a shop. Definitely have a business of, of, of your own. Other than that, we do have the uh, Queen of Swords with the ace of swords out so again a writer an author an editor uh someone with a lot of mental talent a lot of mental fortitude they're able to discern uh, uh right from wrong glitches people look to them for a second opinion right reference okay that's where i'm getting okay i'm like reference i think that was in uh libra's reading yeah you're, you're connected to libra we have here eight of coins and eight of baskets so I feel inclined in eight of sticks, right? Powerhouse. This is alchemic energy here, infinity. So I'm inclined to talk about uh, tropical and Vedic astrology here, <laughs> or sidereal, however you want to call it. So the funny part is, in Western astrology, we think um, everybody's talking about it now, right? They're trying to be all, all spiritual, and we're talking about astrology signs. The funny part is, you know, Western astrology uh, or Westernized culture always. Uh, appropriates everything <laughs> nothing here is original so our uh, birth signs or our birth times are modified so me for instance i'm a libra so in my tropical yeah born october 16 1986 i'm a libra but in actuality when we follow the traditional star systems <laughs> i'm actually a virgo so whatever you are you would move that up a month or move it back a month however you look at it so yeah, if you're a Virgo, you're actually a Leo. <laughs> so you have to move it back. If you're a Scorpio, you're a Libra. If you're a Capricorn, you're a Sagittarius. If you're a Gemini, you are a what? Taurus. You're Aries, you're actually a Pisces. And you can kind of tell the difference. You'll start to see the subtle nuances. It's almost like breaking out of this uh, 3D matrix reality that we have living in uh, the United States Babylon system, right? People still doesn't even can't even make the difference between North America and the United States of America, or should I say, the continent of North America and the um, the corporation of the United States. Everyone born here has a birth certificate and a death certificate. But yeah, that's what I have for you here. A lesson in business, uh, I suppose. Uh, like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel, Scorpio. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.